Hey guys, gonna get back to the grenade. Um, gonna get it all finished up today. I'm tired of having to put it off for whatever reasons. Um, I've had a lot of weird stuff happen this week. So, I'm gonna finish it <laughs> right now. All right, so we've got a um, grenade that is pretty much rust-free now. Uh, it's paint-free and any other crap that's that was stuck to it free. Um, I need to wash it off. There's a little bit of dust and grime on it just from you know the wire wheel flinging stuff around, but I'm gonna wash it with some soap and water, dry it real good, and then it's gonna be ready for bluing, finally. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that'll be, once I get that blued, I gotta probably do two coats, rub it down, give it a coat of uh, barricade, and number two will be done. All right, we are washed, and we are dried. Time to unpack it. Got a little flash rust on it, that's okay. Anybody want to know what the cheapest uh, replica prop is? Firefly. Blue gloves. Time for a rinse. All right, let's get some steel wool out here. Start off with this little piece here. All right, look at that. That's just one coating. Um, Got to do the second one. All right, we're about to do the final polish on it. Um, then we'll gotta give it a quick rinse and dry and it's ready for barricade. Okay. Always love the first pass here. I love how like flat it is. And then you just it's got that nice shine to it. Nice bluing color. But just on the top ring right now. That's awesome.
There we go. Okay, um, that pretty much wraps up um, this grenade. It's looking pretty awesome. It's down here soaking in oil. I'm just gonna leave it, let it soak for a while. Um, but I wanna talk about what's next. It's another grenade, it's a big surprise. Uh, I've got this neck here. Um, it's got a collar that's stuck on it, preventing the wind vane from being removed. That's my next headache. And then I got a frag body, which is pretty nice. It's actually very nice, other than the fact that it has this little damaged edge on the top there. Um, but other than that, this is a, a great grenade. Um, it's got some pitting, it's got some rust, it's got a little bit of paint on it. Um, the inside is pretty rusty. I don't know if we can, if we can get that on camera, but... Yeah. Anyway. It's pretty rusty. Um, so that's going to be the, the next projects. Um, and then I, I just want to talk about this again. Uh, my, my awesome little flex shaft tool here. Um, it works great. I love it. Um, these, new, these new wire wheels, they're fantastic as well. Um, I will have to buy some smaller ones because I realize that they don't fit inside of a grenade body. And that's the best way to get this rust off is to run a wire wheel over it. So um, I'll have to order some smaller ones just so I can do that. But I'm not gonna get the three quarter inch ones. I'll probably go down to a one inch. Um, so uh, that'll be coming up um, here pretty soon, I'm hoping. Um, yeah, and uh, check out the blog. Um, I know there's not much on it now. I'm trying to add you know, backlog things of videos and projects I've done just so there's more content on it. I'm going to have links to the things that I use on there. Um, if you click on any of those links, it does help me out. Um, I, I'm trying to make a tiny little bit of money off of this because right now I make nothing. I'm a one-man show. I cover all the costs unless it's like, you know, a commission like this, then they, they cover some costs for me, of course. But um, anyways, anything will help in that regard. Um, so until next time, See you later.